absolutely trust. Build trust. <laughs> yeah, you like trust too. <laughs> I'm here in this house to provide warmth and happiness. Thank you. That's a very sweet kiss. Thank you. But the truth is, is that you want to feel loved. And when you tell that truth, this horse is right present with you. We, we, have, we learn as humans to have very complex ideas about ourselves and each other, but when we go straight to the intention, then the, then the love that you need is right there. Yeah. <laughs> and you created that for yourself. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's something you can do in any situation, in any circumstance you can take yourself back to what you really want, which is simply just love and ask, and ask from your heart. You, if you ask a person or you ask with words, people can't always do it, but if you just ask from your heart, what I really want is to be loved right now. Someone will show up to give you that love. Okay. Okay? <laughs> that's nice. Let's just pray lots of times that probably will come up. Yeah. Okay. For all of us. That's something for all of us. So take a moment right now, everybody, and just ask, that every time you have a need to be loved, which is every second of every day for all of us, that that love is given to you in a way that you can experience it, that you can be aware of it, that you're receptive to it. That's what the animals so want. They'll do anything to teach us, <laughs> anything. They really will. <laughs> so just take a moment and just ask that you always be in a state of knowing you are loved. And if everyone just says a couple of words about what happens to them when they put themselves when they ask that question and put themselves in that state. I immediately just remember that I'm loved, that I don't have to maneuver or fix or change anything, that I'm just loved now. It's right here. This horse, if you go up to him, he will send you a personal message of great gratitude, acknowledging, like, did it remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he actually said to me that, he said, thank you for being gentle. <laughs> That's very sweet. <laughs> he totally takes in something about you and acknowledges it. Um, if any of you want to send, you know, tune into him, he might have a message for each of you. He said to let, let the animals that are here on the island help us to enter the mystery and trust that when we go, they will be here to hold us and take care of us and protect us. And that when you go on the out with the dolphins tomorrow, to remember that. very psychic. <laughs> he knows lots of stuff about me. <laughs> and he likes it that we really, really are aware of him as a soul, that he's not just the horse body that he's inhabiting this lifetime, but he is a soul. Good Lord, try.
Hi, I'm Herbie Bell, and I asked Dr. Lori Moore uh, to come and do an intuitive reading on my dog, Tori. Tori is a rescue dog, and he was depressed and melancholy, and I thought um, perhaps she could help, and she really did. She did a remote reading and then came to the house, and he has changed 180 degrees. He is no longer withdrawing from other dogs and people. He doesn't run away anymore. He responds to commands. And I just have a blast with them every day, and I cannot tell you how grateful I am, Dr. Moore. And I would recommend you to anybody with a pet. Thank you very much.